those of you that have been around for a while um, and has been watching the channel for a while, uh, you know that we've gotten this KTM 390 about three years ago. About two years ago, we did a video with Stephanie riding around in the parking lot. And this week, uh, three days ago, we started a motorcycle class at Balance Dynamics in Walton, Kentucky. Both of us scored 100% on our tests. And Stephanie is now riding the 390 all by herself on the road. I mean, the classes were awesome. For, for being around riding, I've been riding motorcycles for about 14 years now. And doing the classes, I was really impressed for how they start you out and coach you and get you used to uh, taking off at stop signs, just like Stephanie just did there. Uh, they get you used to the clutch, uh, the friction zone of the clutch, and they get you used to the slow riding aspect of motorcycle riding, which is the hardest part, honestly. It's hard to keep your bike up when you're only going five mile an hour in a parking lot or whatnot. So it gets you comfortable with that. Uh, the road riding aspect and traffic riding aspect, that is all up to you, basically. So what I like to do, I am taking Stephanie out on these back roads and we're just kind of putting along, hitting these corners and I, I say probably within a week or two of this she's going to be super comfortable on that thing well at least it's a beautiful day it could be a little bit warmer yeah it's freezing it's supposed to warm up so like these corners are great to practice going from the outside to the inside. Outside. Inside. Back outside. There is starting to be a little bit of a crust in this. First time on 536, how do you feel? It felt great actually. I think it's yeah. because I know the roads so well. well. What was that? I said I think it's because I know the road so well. well right. Yeah, when you have, you uh, you feel a lot more comfortable when you uh, remember the road itself. Yeah. And there's, there's a lot of sections that you will remember regardless, like Kind of like how I remember where there's wall out gravel sections and stuff.
so getting used to that. And not knowing like what gear I'm in. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately the TFT display on the 390 went out, which is apparently a plague for all KTMs across the board, not just 390s. Just in case they ask why we ride it off for taxes. For everybody who doesn't know, it's 40 f***ing degrees outside. <laughs> in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> Did you feel like you learned a lot from the balance dynamics class? Yeah, I think so. I learned a, a good amount, actually. Right. I was really impressed. All the people in that class, uh, a good majority of them, never ridden a bike. And to watch them all get really good within a short period of time was pretty impressive. But the fact that you are stopping and taking off and riding in the slower area is so good now on a bike that you're tippy toeing on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this bike really is not as big as most bikes. But... No, no this, I think it's a phenomenal, that's a phenomenal bike. Like yeah. size wise and- oh, I'm happy with it. Power wise. I guess we ain't going to get the light. Typically. Do I? We didn't get the light. No. Also, I'm surprised you didn't go to the stop sign. Yeah, I, I, I should have. Should get it this time. Now mm -hmm. that there's a car up here. So here's Stephanie's old stomping grounds. What do you have to do to get buried in St. Cecilia Cemetery over Independence Cemetery? I don't know if for any church, if you have to be like a member, I'm not sure. There's the uh, good old courthouse. That's been around though for like the entire existence of independence, I believe. Right. Oh yeah, I'm sure I'm sure oh. it was the original church here, you know, like one of the first ones. What wait, did you say church? Yeah, Saint Cecilia. Oh no, I like the courthouse. Oh yeah, the courthouse has been around forever. <laughs> Just like this school. Who are these guys? So that kind of maneuvering is hard for a beginner rider, but after that class, really? I mean, we got it. Uh, yeah, that's the biggest thing is people want to put their foot down for those kinds of turns. Those slow rolling turns like that. And you just knocked it out of the park like it was nothing. All right, so today we're working on one of the original schools here in Independence, Kentucky. This place was built in 1826. And since then it's been under a lot of different things. Um, I think for the most part it's been nothing but apartments. Wouldn't you say what? that this place has been just like apartment complexes for the most part? This? Yeah. No. Has it been other things? Yeah, this has never been a place where people lived. Really? Yeah. So On... that's why he's running into so much. He, he had to literally pay for every room to get plumbing, to get heat, AC, like all the ducts, uh, duct work, um, water, uh, I just said plumbing. Plumbing, electric, that's why all the electric is fairly new. I mean, everything. So this previously was a church. And then um, it's been like three different churches. It was first built as the City of Independence School. 
So I, I don't know if it was like the first school for independence, but I do know that this was, I mean, upstairs we can show you, but there's a chalkboard. Well, there was a chalkboard and it had, it had the date 1920 something on it, I believe. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, we did see an image where I believe people used to ride their horses here. Like back in the day, they would ride their horse to school. And so there was like a little barn area to keep your horse. I don't remember if that was this one or if it was like a different little school in Independence. Do you remember seeing that in that book? Yeah. Yeah. I, th I want to say it was this one. Probably. But yeah. So each room, uh, we can go upstairs and look at it, but you'll see like the black chalk marks. But all of this is brand new. The courthouse. Yeah, so it has a ap apartment D there. That's the courthouse. That that's not this. No, this is this. It was that was just a picture of the courthouse. They had a picture of the courthouse for some reason. So right here, you can see like the faint black uh, outline of where they had a chalkboard. Uh, I believe this was like plaster, and then they put a chalkboard on it. But yeah, all of this is new. All of the uh, laundry rooms, like they put a lot into this. Yeah. It sits on like 1.1 acres. So that's so, all gonna be common grounds. Uh, what they'd want to do is put like tiny homes back there. Mm -hmm. But I could also see where tiny homes could you? start to become tr a little trashy, like depending on who's renting them out. Yeah, who's renting them out, yeah, for sure. Could you imagine that there was like a playground back here or something? Well, I mean, there used to be a little barn, apparently, where they keep horses. So this is kitchen, living room. And then two bedrooms, two full bathrooms. Two bed. This is like bedroom one. Full bath for everybody. And then master bedroom. With another full bath. This master bedroom has a view of the street. Whereas the two master bedrooms downstairs have a view of the backyard. What would you prefer? Well, I Master mean, bedroom view. That gets more sunlight, I believe. The front of the building. I don't know. I don't think the front gets more sunlight. You don't think so? Judging by the way the sun's coming in the windows right now. I really liked the other unit, the one that had the steps going to it. I don't know why. Right. Even though it's like identical to this, it's just all on the other side. I like it more for some reason. Yeah. This is the one she's talking about where your entryway has a set of steps right into the kitchen. I don't know because the other ones have brick yeah, above the cabinet. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like, is that this doesn't have the brick accent. Yeah. Oh, and yes. I, Here you can see the chalk. Oh yeah, you can see the chalkboard really well. But, yeah, I don't know, I have mixed. And then this one you have a view of a gas station. Oh yeah, true, true. But you have a view of the community deck in the back. I don't know if I would necessarily want that though, because then I, that means those people can see inside. That and it's not very private. Like if you're out here sunbathing, whoever's in here could easily just creep on you. So I guess it would be a good idea if it was yours. <laughs> yep, true. Because then you would know who's out there. Yeah. Same as the other unit, just flip-flopped, full bath. 
bedroom, master. Pretty cool though. I would, would you call these uh, like luxury style apartments because of the high ceilings? After all said and done, I, I'm sure it would be considered that. Like a luxury style. It's a style. good location. And I know that the fixtures that she has picked out is, it's nice. So I right. would say so. I mean, it's not your basic apartments. Decent amount of parking. All new everything. I mean, everything's brand new. It's not like it was necessarily a flip because, I mean, this was gutted down to the studs. Yeah, it had to be. Uh, a lot of it was for like fire code yep. reasons. Uh, the ceilings are all double layered drywall. And they all have a sprinkler system. Yeah. At one point in time, this place was in a fire. Um, that's really the only evidence there is anymore. But was it being all brick, I guess, saved the fire from spreading? This door goes out to the community deck. But yeah, I figured I'd show you guys this. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Some of uh, the Independence history here and Stephanie's old stomping grounds. Stephanie went to high school at Simon Kenton. Oh, look, a knife. And Holy Cross. And Holy Cross and St. Cecilia. And that's the wet look. Check it out, it actually looks really good compared to what we haven't done yet. Right. Oh, but... <sighs> I was doing so well. I stalled it. Oh.
would you say we did on those two classes? Uh, they were both eight hours, well longer than eight hours. I think they were about eight hours a piece, weren't they? Now I know why you wanted uh, cruise control. Yeah. Is it off now? Yeah. 